Hey YouTube, here's a quick tutorial uh, on how to draw the human eye. Um, I'm using a graphite pencil uh, made by Stedler and uh, Bristol vellum paper. Um, you can really use a scratch paper and a number two pencil, it's not a huge deal. Um, just make sure that the pencil is sharp because uh, you're going to be doing a lot of fine details like eyelashes and the, the iris has a lot of fine lines in it. Um, so the first thing to do is outline the eye. So you start off by going up like that so take a good look at that shape you can see that it kinda goes up at more of an angle then it kinda smooths out right on this side now next I'm gonna add in a few small lines one right there and one right there Now you can connect these I usually do it later on though and you don't want to make them too dark otherwise you'll kinda of get uh, what my old teacher used to call the uh, the Egyptian eye so you probably want to avoid that sometimes if um, the eye that you're drawing has a lot of like eyeliner on it you'll have to add that in but uh, for the typical eye with no makeup on it it's gonna be uh, much lighter on the bottom eyelid so the next thing that you're going to add in is um, usually most eyes have a second line just above that top one. Now what this is, is uh, it's the wrinkle of the eyelid when it's open. Now the darkest lines are going to be this top one and uh, the line going around the iris which is what I add in next and it helps to rotate the paper to make it a, a better shape. You also want to add in kind of a triangle right here. It's going to be for the tear duct. Now I uh, need another circle in here for the pupil. The pupil is usually the darkest part of the eye. Something you'll want to keep in mind is um, the eye usually has highlights in it just where the light is reflecting off because it's a, a wet surface um, and a lot of times it's in the pupil there's usually like a perfect circle in there so I'll kinda I usually kinda outline it and then darken around it what a lot of people will do is try and leave this area of the eye completely white but uh, it's a circle it's a ball it has dimension to it it's got shadows so you're gonna wanna shade in some area and I wanna show you guys something really quick we'll just draw the tip of my pencil here when I'm doing fine detail like eyelashes I'm using the very tip of my pencil when I'm shading I'm using the very edge of my pencil so you need to learn to utilize the uh, different angles of the tip of your pencil to get better effects so I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so there's some of the shading. Next I'm going to start adding in the detail in the iris. If you look in the mirror really closely at your iris, you'll see a lot of like lines that are kind of jetting out in every direction from the center a lot of people call this the uh, wagon wheel because uh, if you look at a wagon wheel you know it's got the the center and then all the spokes that go out to the rest of the wheel so that's kind of what you want to keep in mind when you're thinking about the flow of uh, the detail in the iris so you're gonna want to start making lines going out from the center just like this 
So we're just drawing lots of lines going out. And remember to rotate the paper, that helps a lot for this part. I think I'm going to add another highlight in here. So I'm going to kind of leave that blank. I usually go over it again, add in some more darker lines. Now the next thing I do is basically the same thing, but uh, coming in from the outline of the iris. Alright, now I'm going to darken the line. This is another one of the the really dark lines is the outline of the iris. It's usually pretty dark. Alright, now for this highlight, I'm going to give it more of a shape. Now next, I'm going to do some more detail on the tear duct and a lot of times you'll find highlights in here too. I just kind of want to shade. Alright, so there we go. Kind of left a little highlight in there. Now, do a little more shading around. Can kind of connect these, but I'm not making them very dark. I wanted to explain some of the shading I'm doing. Um, you really need to imagine the eyeball underneath. It kind of creates shadows, like right here, because it kind of it pushes the eyelid out. You need to make it look three-dimensional. Alright, so mostly all we have left to do is the eyelashes. Now, like I mentioned before, you're going to want to use the tip of the pencil for this. And um, this is where you've got to kind of think about um, uh, uh, like dimension. Because some of the eyelashes off to the side are going to be going out this, kind of this way. You know, but these, the ones in the middle, they're going to be facing like straight at you. So these are very thin lines and it always helps to find yourself a picture or go look in the mirror at your own eyelashes to kind of see the direction that they're going. I usually go over multiple times and just add in more, not as fine detail, but just make it darker just so that it seems like there's a, a lot more there. Now we'll do the bottom eyelashes. I'm going to draw another line, a very thin very light line. Okay, so this bottom line that I put just makes it a little bit more uh, three-dimensional because that uh, kind of shows the thickness of the eyelid and uh, it's just under this new line where you're going to add the bottom eyelashes. Alright, so we're pretty much out of time, but this is the final image, so I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, check the description. I, I post a lot of information in there, and there's a couple videos that you can check out in there. And um, other than that, thanks for watching, and good luck.